Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. Hi, y'all. This is Angela Prophet, and you are listening to Weddings Unveiled. And today, I'm so excited to have Eddie Babbage. Eddie is the founder and CEO of Timeline Genius. It's one of my favorite softwares in the wedding industry. And Eddie is also the host of the Wedding Industry Insider Podcast. And a little bit about Eddie and I before I bring him on here. We've known each other for several years. Um, He contacted me and told me about this timeline feature that he was building. And we met up in New York years ago. And I think that if the Starbucks had stayed open all night, we would have just sat there and talked about technology all night long. I think he knows I'm like the biggest tech geek in the wedding space. And so that's why we work so, so well together. And so without further ado, Eddie, how are you? I am doing super well, Angela. Thank you so much for having me on here. It's really a pleasure. Absolutely. Well, before we jump in and start telling our audience about how much we love technology and we love timelines. I want them to know a little bit about your background and where you came from, because this is not your first tech venture. No, absolutely not. So I have, a, I guess, a bit of an unorthodox path, uh, you know, into the industry. I actually started off, uh, if we, it depends on how far back we want to go, I guess, undergrad, my, I was, you know, a math geek, which kind of ties to what I currently do. But, and then I went to the law school, actually, um, at Harvard and practiced corporate law for a few years and uh, left that. And I, I think I freaked my mom out a little bit. She's like, why are you leaving this nice, you know, corporate law job? But I, I left that job to start my first company, which was a digital music service. This was right around the time when the digital music revolution was really gaining, you know, momentum. And then uh, around 2010, moved up to New York City, where I currently live, married my longtime sweetheart, um, and started my second company, which was a social television um, play, and then ultimately made my way to uh, Timeline Genius. Uh, That was around the middle of 2013 when I really got started with Timeline Genius. Awesome. And tell our listeners, like, how did you even get into the wedding industry? Yeah, that's that's a great question because uh, the irony is I really didn't do much of the wedding planning for my own wedding. Um, my wife did all the planning and did an amazing job as a DIY bride. And um, the interesting thing was, you know, I feel like one of the the key things that I learned, you know, probably the most profound lesson that I learned um, in all of my years of entrepreneurship is that my job is really to find uh, and solve big problems in the world that affect a lot of people. And it was around the middle of 2013 uh, when my wife, as I was kind of looking for a new project to take on, she said, you know, when I was planning our wedding, there were, you know, a lot of logistics and moving pieces. I I wonder if, you know, wedding planners might actually, uh, you know, need a software, you know, wedding and event planners for that matter, because she was also doing timelines for her nonprofit organization, you know, if they would need a software to help with their job. And it turned out, you know, uh, that she was dead right. I just started doing a ton of research, you know, talking to uh, savvy people in the industry. You know, like you said, Angela, that's how you and I connected when I was kind of in my deep research mode. And I always just ask people a very simple question, you know, what's the most tedious part of your job? And just started hearing over and over with such enthusiasm as people would say, you know, timelines, Eddie, like I love being a planner. I love, you know, delivering for my clients and making events come to life. But I got to say, sitting here and toiling over this timeline is really, um, 
you know, a, a tedious process. And, uh, and that really just launched me on the path that I'm on now. I saw there was a problem and I was like, I'm going to use all of my skills and resources to fix it. That's amazing. <laughs> and so, I mean, I do want to throw out there too, that like you and Brooke both like a little bit, I mean, you having the background in technology and then her having the background in doing events. I mean, not necessarily weddings, but she saw the value in how timelines run everything. Like, right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's just got really good instincts, you know, and um, she has a legal background as well, but you know, in starting her nonprofit. Yeah. I mean, she had to run events and, and she's very much that type A, you know, sort of client that, you know, I'm sure you've had plenty of, of times where they're just like, I'm going to, you know, plan things out and all that. And just kind of, yeah, instinctively felt that there might be a need. And, um, you know, I just, I really have always tried to be a good listener. I feel like listening just goes a long way in life. And when I was just talking to people like you, Angela, I mean, I would just take notes and just really try to listen intently and to be present and just to hear what you were saying. And I just heard, I mean, there was just such wisdom in that. And there was just this real gaping problem that needed to be fixed. And so it's not like you just rolled out of bed and said, oh, I'm going to start a timeline company. Like you did your freaking research. Yeah, <laughs> I was absolutely. Impressed absolutely. When, when I met you. And I mean, again, if, if planners are listening and you don't know what Timeline Genius is, it is probably one of the best softwares out there that if you had to pick one, which I use 32 a day to be exact, to be paperless, which is very powerful <laughs> and safe, by the way. Can you just share with our listeners, like, what exactly does Timeline Genius do? Timeline Genius makes it very easy for you to create totally customized, highly professional event timeline. So, you know, initially we started out just focusing on wedding timelines, but a lot of the planners that, you know, are doing wedding timelines said, well, Eddie, I also do bar mitzvahs or Eddie, I also do, you know, nonprofit charity event timelines or baby showers like you and I collaborated on that, Angela. And yep. Yeah, we've taken a very focused approach on that. You know, some people will say, well, what about invoicing? What about floor planning? You know, and what I realized about timelines when I really started studying them was several things. You know, first of all, they're incredibly important, incredibly important, like possibly the most important deliverable that, you know, you prepare and hand off. I mean, it's literally the plan for the day and you're a planner. So I'm like, not, not just for the planner, but also what I started to realize is the planner is this conductor of the symphony. That's the metaphor that always comes, you know, you've got your orchestra, which is like your vendors that you're working with, but your job is to have a shared game plan, i.e. timeline, that everybody can follow so that everybody can work together in harmony. So, you know, it's this vitally important document. And in order to do them correctly, uh, it requires a lot of time. You know, after interviewing literally hundreds and hundreds of planners, I started seeing that on average for experienced planners, you know, people like you, Angela, like I know how you are when you're doing your timelines. You're like, I'm putting all the detail in the world in here. I am de-risking the wedding day. I'm not leaving things to chance. All these little fine points and details are going to be meticulously and thoughtfully crafted out. And when you're doing timelines like that, it takes hours and hours to do it. And there were just so many aspects of the timeline creation process that I thought we could make much more efficient. Um, and that's what we did. And in addition to saving planners, you know, tons of time and giving them peace of mind, letting them work with just greater ease, there's also just an enhanced level of professionalism uh, that our product gives people. And so... As a planner, and then also just from a brand perspective, I mean, it it's pretty. Like, planners can put their own logo on it, and vendors love it. If, if you can talk a little bit about it being cloud-based and the collaboration tool and how that works. Absolutely. So, one of the, the sort of things when I was first researching this, you know, you got a lot of people and, you know, Lord knows, we, we could have a whole podcast about, you know, the notion of like not doing things that just live on your hard drive. You and I both know, Angela. I mean, a lot of people, they're not mindful that things happen. I've, I've talked to planners who 
had their laptop stolen like right after they attended a bridal show and all of their leads were on the laptop and their timelines were on the laptop. And what do you do? So the first thing that we're doing, I is, would jump off a bridge. Yeah, it happened. I, just, I know somebody, a wonderful person, you know, ramping up her business. And I, I just wanted to like shed a tear for her. I mean, it was just, I mean, she managed to like, well, anyway, again, that's a whole other, you know, sort of conversation. But yeah, we, you know, certainly are harnessing the power of the cloud and the internet. Our data is backed up numerous times, numerous ways. You're not going to lose anything. Moreover, if you're out somewhere and you've got somebody else on your team who needs to log in and access information for a timeline or for a vendor or venue contact information, it's all there centrally located. Um, regarding collaboration, um, I would actually, I guess, just kind of take a step back and kind of talk about just the, the real succinct high level articulation of what Timeline Genius is as Absolutely. a tool and product. Yeah. So there are really three components to Timeline Genius just at a high level. The first component is we want you to start with a very tailored template. Half the battle when you're creating a timeline is having a template that's that's on point. And what I mean by that is Every wedding, every event is ultimately different. And you have a situation where most planners, they work from a generic template or in some cases they say, oh, I did a timeline that's similar to this. So I try to find an old timeline and swap out the names and dates and all of that stuff. The problem with trying to reuse an old timeline or trying to work from a generic template is every event is unique. So the minute you have a template that has, say, a 6 p.m. ceremony, but your upcoming event has like a 1 p.m. ceremony, you've got to make all these edits. The minute you've got a template that's good for, say, a Catholic wedding, but you're doing a Jewish wedding, you got to make all sorts of edits. So the big and revolutionary step, the first step that we took is we let you put in the key information for your event. What time is the ceremony? What's the ceremony and reception venue? What's the travel time between those venues, if applicable? How many girls are getting hair done and makeup done? How long do you want to give them? Put in their names. How long do you have your photographer booked? And when you put these inputs in, and it only takes a couple seconds to answer these simple questions, you then get to click a button that says generate timeline. And I won't go down the rabbit hole of explaining like all the math and equations and logics that start firing. But basically you click a button and in two or three seconds, you instantly get a tailor made timeline that right off the bat is saving you hours of tedious work because you're starting with the big pieces in place. The next thing is you have editing features. So not only do we start you off with a relevant, very carefully crafted and detailed template, when you need to move 50 items 10 minutes ahead because something changed and all these items are interrelated, you can do that in two or three seconds. That takes forever in Word. When you click that generate timeline button, your vendor contact information is instantly there. You can create tailored timelines for your clients. You can drag and drop items around. It's just very easy and intuitive to just move items around and to do the editing that we know you're going to need to do. And then the last thing is what you just said, Angela, collaboration. It's so important because it's not like you're drafting a research paper here that just is for you. This is the shared game plan. You need feedback and buy-in and sign-off from your clients, your vendors, your venues, and we really make it easy and seamless to get that. And, and we give you complete control over everybody's access to on an item by item basis. If you want to hide an item that's supposed to be a surprise, like the groom's going to sing to the bride, you can hide it. If you want somebody to see an item but not be able to make changes, you can do that and they can just post comments. So it's really flexible, but it comes down to template, having a great template to start with, being really easy to make edits and being able to collaborate fluidly on your timelines. I can't tell you how amazing this is. And we spend so much time building the timeline as a planner to ensure a accountability because I don't do this for my health. I know what I need to do, but the right hand needs to know what the left hand's doing and the left foot and the right foot. And I just feel like everybody is more on the same page and vendors get used to that level of communication, which equals like a smooth event. And so if you had to pick like one special unique feature about this software, like what would it be? Mm, that I, that I most highly value. 
Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really tricky, Angela, because I mean, my ultimate driving sort of North star motivation and passion is just solving this problem and helping. Like I really kind of fell in love with planners after just talking to them so much. Like I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Every planner I talk to is like building a business and they're, you know, they've got a family or they've got just like, they're new at this and they're trying to get, you know, they're chasing professional dreams and they're passionate about what they're doing. Um, so I, um, yeah, I'm really just passionate about solving that problem. And each person has his or her own uh unique features that they like most. Um, for some people, it's collaboration. For some people, it's tailored timelines. And at a high level, the, the things, the driving principles that I like most about our site are um, it's very easy to use and it's totally customizable because, again, everybody has their own unique way. If I had to pick a personal favorite, I guess I would say the genius feature. Uh -huh. um, frankly, frankly, it's it's the... I, it's the it's it's probably the the best intellectual piece of work I've ever done in my life. So I'm just like really proud of it. I mean, it took years, you know, and I drew on all of my background, like in math and like programming, and I've consulted with some of the most talented, brilliant, you know, engineers I've ever met, and I've spent years just like talking to people like you who know the event space and how timelines work so well. And I've just melded all of that into this algorithm that literally is nowhere else on planet earth that lets you put in all of this information. And it, it sounds easier than like it actually is. It's really, really freaking complicated, which is why at first I was like, why are people saying timelines are hard? But once I really started studying them, I'm like, oh, wow, there's a lot going on here. And if you can imagine like, the, the logical exercise of letting somebody put in inputs and then giving them a really detailed tailor-made template. Like the fact that we're doing that um, is just super exciting to me. And I'm so excited about just continuing to make that algorithm better. It's really intellectually satisfying for me personally. Yeah. And I guess like one of the biggest things I love about you, Eddie, is like you give your phone number out, you answer the phone, you, you're there to help planners. Like if, you know, if I'm like, Hey, there's not an app. Like I really would love to see an app. It's almost like every single suggestion that any planner gives you. And if it makes sense, you actually do it and implement it. And I mean, I know other companies, A, they don't even freaking ask or B, they ask and you give them feedback and they don't do jack shit about it. <laughs> and then yep. C, it's like rarely do you find A, the owner, founder, CEO, who's the one sitting behind the computer, like understanding. And then you go to these shows and you sit out on the showroom floor and give these demos. And like I watched it for myself when we were at Wedding MBA you did these demos literally all day long, back to back to back to back. And people are gathered around and they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. And it wasn't just planners. Like I think DJs saw the value in it. Um, photographers saw the value in it. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's just for planners, would you? No, absolutely not. I mean, we have, you know, that's where my, I mean, I, the event industry is so big and I didn't realize this until relatively recently just how tremendously important at a societal like in human level timelines are like it sounds a little strange to say but imagine right now Angela that you and I hit a button and there were no more timelines in the world like there would be no Super Bowl there'd be no weddings there would be no like Final Four and music festivals, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. events would be pure chaos if we didn't have a schedule and a detailed plan and as I've taken this on, I've realized, you know, my heart really is with planners because that's where it all started for me. And that made a great sense for us as a starting point. You don't start to, you know, try to eat the, all, the whole elephant in one bite, so to speak, like to, to eat the whole problem here in, in one bite would have been silly. But, but now that I look at it, it's absolutely not just planners. I mean, there are vendors out there. There are people like Brooke who are executive directors at nonprofits that, you know, need to plan their annual like gala. And um, so 
my sort of uh, mission right now professionally is um, to just solve this problem for the whole industry. I just don't want people in 2018 um, to be slaving over timelines unnecessarily. Yeah. And another thing that I want to clarify and make sure that our audience and listeners know is that you specifically did not name Timeline Genius, like Wedding Timeline Genius. Like you specifically went after that niche and you said, I'm going to focus. And I think it's been like, what, three years that you've been focusing on weddings? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And and like master that, which I feel like oh my God, like over the top have. And then, and then let, let's make this thing bigger. And so just over the past, I don't know, like six months, um, like you said, you touched on it, but I want to back up because like you said, you have figured out the templates, not only for like a Christian ceremony or a gay wedding or, you know, Jewish or Catholic, all these different, you got all these experts pretty much together. Right. And they talked you through everything and how to make sure that nothing was left out. Right. Yeah. I mean, well, your, your case in point, Angela, I mean, when we needed to do, uh, you know, a template for, um, a bridal shower, I, I don't want to, I'm sorry, a baby shower. I don't want to give all of the people using our system, anything less than, a first class industry leading um, template. So I was like, you know, who can help and do an amazing job with this? Angela can. So that's, you know, we connected and you had coincidentally yep. just been on television for your expertise and planning and the template you gave, uh, like it blew my mind. Like, you know, the conversation we had, all the, you know, I've really come to appreciate for people like you, Angela. I mean, you obviously are beyond like planner extraordinary. You do so many other things on top <laughs> of it. It's a little scary to think about how you manage it all. But as a planner, like I've really come to have a much deeper appreciation for the skill. You know, everybody hears, oh, brain surgeon. Okay, well, yeah, like planners, good planners are really skilled. Like you can't just be some like, Oh, I'm a smart guy. I can go play in this event. No, you can't. Not like, not like Angela would, (laughs) you know, like, no, you cannot. You will not see all the angles the way that somebody who's got a talent for this, who's been doing it for years is going to see them. And, you know, yeah, same thing for same sex weddings. We work with Bernadette Smith, the founder of the Gay Wedding Institute. So yeah, we get expertise from people like you who really know their stuff. So I have experienced the pain of losing eight hours worth of timeline building with a client and her mom and my assistant. We were all in different countries. And I'm like, I just, I can't use Dropbox anymore. And so then I started using Google Drive. And I will say that several people have contacted me in the past before I met you, Eddie. They're like, oh, I have this great software and try it out. And one guy literally told me that, it didn't live on the cloud that he was going to send me a tower. And for those of you who are super young, you probably don't even know what a tower is, but I'm like, no, no, no. What if your place burns down? He's like, wow, you're really uh, just negative. I'm like, no dude. Like I worked in a psychology ward and there were very successful CEOs in there that um, it happened to them. They were suicidal. Like this is a real thing. And he's like, well, you've given me something to think about. And then I never heard from him again. And so Mm. one thing I can say with Timeline Genius is you've been around for years. I know you're not going anywhere. You have a great audience in the wedding space. And so are you going to expand outside of the wedding space is my question for you. Absolutely, Angela. I mean, the, the vision and the reason why we didn't just call ourselves Wedding Timeline Genius is because... The real DNA of a of an event timeline is the same across the board, and something that I really start realize as I started going to you know different types of networking events is weddings are one type of event, a very particular type of event, but still like the, there there's not really any bright hard line between the wedding industry and the event industry. I see them as very connected, um, and you know there's so many other types of events from you know, corporate meetings and conferences and award, you know, banquets and galas and marathons and 
uh, all of these events in terms of the timeline ultimately boiled down to being um, a sequence of activities happening at scheduled times, which are executed by specific people in specific places. And the fact that we've now built this, um, you know, fantastic software for timelines means it's really got applicability across the board, which is why people are already doing um, other types of timelines on the system. And that's something we'll definitely be growing further into um, as we move forward. I love it. And I know something that you and I have talked about is working with hotels and golf courses and other venues that might be on an old system where if their clients don't have a planner and just to give them a template so that they know the right questions to ask so that the venue is actually shed in like a really positive light. Because if you don't have your crap together, it can really come back on the venue. Absolutely. I would say like, what do you, I mean, you have ever overcome so many challenges, I think, with just a lot of wedding planners being stuck with paper and notebooks. And I mean, right now, what's the biggest challenge that you're facing in the wedding industry right now? Um, that's a great question, Angela. Um, I think one of the things, and you and I actually have talked about this before, um, especially early on. Now, it's getting easier and easier now for me, to be honest, because I don't, in most cases these days, I'm not really telling people about Timeline Genius. They're hearing about it from multiple other people who are like, you need to sign up with this and do it. Which is awesome. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, nothing makes me feel better than, you know, seeing the various Facebook group threads that are out there where people are recommending us, blah, blah, blah. But I have to say that initially, um, and still to some degree today, um, I think when you're doing something new and when you're trying to reinvent the status quo and to really take a quantum leap forward, you encounter the winds of just... uh, resistance from just inertia, right? Like people are like, I've been doing timelines. People start, I think, from the presumption, look, I've been doing timelines for 10 years and I know what I'm doing and my way is awesome. And you fight a little bit um, of ego when you expose people to change. And you also have uh, human nature kind of uh, resisting you because we're all creatures of habit. And when we've been doing something for five years, for 10 years, we tend to Uh, want to stick with what's familiar. And you, uh, Angela, I think are a very rare breed of person who just looks obsessively for the best way to do things. And you're so constantly dialed into how can I improve? What's the latest? Is there a better way to do this? Is there a new app? I'm like, when I first sat down with you, like you mentioned that Starbucks meeting, I was like, well, this lady knows like more about tech than I do. And I call myself a tech entrepreneur. I'm like, you're schooling me on like 20 apps by the time we leave. And that, but, but that's not necessarily um, everybody's orientation. So it's just helping to educate people and encouraging people to have that open mind. Just please like explore things, try things. And, and in the vast majority of cases, when people do try the software, when they do see it and actually understand what it's doing, they're like, well, holy smokes, like sign me up. But Yeah. So I think that's, I'm sure that probably resonates with you based on your experience in the industry, right? Oh, a hundred percent. And I'll say that usually, uh, because I teach these tech classes now is it takes a tragedy to actually get people to change and that sucks. And so I tell people like, you can't leave my class and say, you didn't know, like you gotta be productive, especially if you're being paid A lot of people are like, oh my God, you cost so much money. I'm like, it's an investment and I have a lot of experience and I just don't bring design and creativity to the table. I bring productivity and paperless and then people take the tools and then they use it for other things in their everyday life and their job and their family. And it, it literally changes lives and other businesses and it's, it's super, super rewarding. And so I try just like you, I mean, we're trying to educate people and beg them to just give it a try. And so, which brings me into, if somebody wants to give Timeline Genius a try, what would they do? Um, Well, if you found out about Timeline Genius through this podcast, um, I'll give you my email address here and you can email me and let me know that you were listening to Angela's podcast. I'll give you some VIP treatment. 
Um, everybody can do a free trial um, on the site. If you just go to timelinegenius.com, you'll see a you know free trial option right there in the header. You start that, you get two free timelines that never expire. But if you find out about us from, uh, from this podcast, sign up for the free trial. Uh, send me an email at eddie at timelinegenius.com. Um, and just, you know, mention, hey, I just signed up for a free trial, but I heard about Timeline Genius through Angela's podcast, and um, I'll send you some goodies, and I'll give you some very special treatment. So I'll just kind of leave it at that, um, but I'll take really good care of folks. And, um, yeah, if you're doing Timelines, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll change, your, change your life. So please do give us a try and, and see, see how, how it works out for you. And I also want to add in that if you do try it out and you use it and you get stuck or something frustrates you or you don't understand something like, please, please, please reach out. Ask Eddie. Thank you for making your information available to our listeners and my audience and give us feedback. Please ask like we don't know how to make something better unless you actually communicate with us. And um, Eddie, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your crazy busy day and spending a little bit of time with us to let us know about Timeline Genius. And I want to thank all of our listeners. If you found this podcast helpful, be sure you share it with your friends, comment, leave us a review, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye. See ya. If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with other wedding and event professionals. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on AngelaProfit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to AngelaProfit.com.